I think first of all to deal with BBI issues, they are really not about 2022. They are about making laws that will empower our people, especially in the region, who for many years, because of the high population and misalignment to on resources, were suffering. And uh, as you've heard before, there are areas where people can be able to give better bursaries than we can give in our own region because of the numbers. Now, with BBI's proposals, especially on resources, we are confident that the country can be equitable in terms of resource distribution. That means so much to our people. We would like to see these young kids having equal opportunities in education in bursaries. And I am very, very gratified that the public participation in Mount Kenya area has gone on very well. That people came out, participated, were able to understand. I want to appeal to our people in the region, let us not look at BBI document as a personalized document. Let us look at BBI document as laws that will affect us in years to come and laws that favor populated areas in terms of resource mobilization. That is the most important thing. BBI is not about an individual. BBI is about equalization of resources for the people of our great country, Kenya. First of all, I'm gratified that already 11 counties have endorsed the BBI and we expect next week to have more than 20 counties that had public participation this week making a vote, including our own county here of Moranga, which is voting on Tuesday. Important thing, and for those who want to play politics with BBI, they will continue playing politics. But I think for me the most important thing is about ensuring that every area in our country that is populated has enough resources distributed. Those who are against BBI, can they pinpoint and say what is in that law that is faulty? You know, we are also going around things. Let somebody come and point out. When you say there are additional positions, Prime Minister, Deputy Prime Minister, they are coming from amongst members of Parliament which means there will be members of parliament. They will come from there. So I think let us confine ourselves to the gains that we will have at hand and let us deal with 2022 when it comes. In any case, nothing stops this region, Mount Kenya region, from producing a president. Nothing stops at all. You cannot say that a region, even if it has the best, if it can produce the best person, mm -hmm. that because people who have come from that region have been there before, they shouldn't produce a president. Mm -hmm. Mount Kenya is capable of producing a president. And, and, the, and to, to add, he's at Mount Kenya accounts to almost 30% of the voting bloc of our country. So even if it is, doesn't produce a president, it should be in a strong position mm -hmm. to occupy the next most important position. Yeah. And we must go as a block because our unity as a block is what will allow us to negotiate better positions in the next formations for 2022. As I've said, this region is capable of producing the next president. And if it does not produce the next president, it will have a strong position to negotiate for the next most important position after the presidency.